السلام علیکم فرینڈس دس از اعجاز احمد اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی ڈاپ ٹی وی ہاؤ آر یو فرینڈس آئی ہوپ یو گائز آر فائن اف یو آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب اٹ اینڈ ہٹ دا بیل آئیکون ٹو گیٹ مائی لیٹسٹ ویڈیو نوٹیفیکیشن ان دس کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ کنیکٹیو ٹیشو سو وی ہیو سب ٹاپکس کنیکٹیو ٹیشو پراپر لوز types of loose connective tissue connective tissue proper dense types of dense connective tissue special connective tissue bone and cartilage bone tissue cartilage cartilage histology special connective tissue blood and lymph blood connective tissue connective tissue is composed of cells in an extracellular matrix of amorphous ground substance and collagen elastic or reticular fibers connective tissue proper can be classified as loose areolar adipose and reticular tissue in dense connective tissue it is classified as regular and irregular dense connective tissue tendons and ligaments composed of dense regular tissue as well as bone and cartilage are connective tissues that support the body and help create the skeletal system blood and lymph are two atypical connective tissues that have a matrix fluid with no fibers tendons ligaments bones cartilages blood lymph so come to the connective tissue proper loose connective tissue proper can be classified as loose connective tissue or dense connective tissue depending on how, how its fibers are arranged loose connective tissue is characterized by its loosely arranged fibers and abundant ground substance this structure allows it to cushion and protect body organs there are three types of loose connective tissue areolar tissue adipose tissue reticular tissue types of loose connective tissue areolar tissue papillary dermis areolar tissue has a gel like matrix with loosely arranged collagen elastic and reticular fibers scattered fibroblast macrophages and other cells blood vessels and interstitial fluid filled spaces located in the papillary layer of the dermis this tissue supports the epithelium cushions organs form the lamina propria and mucous membranes and surrounds blood vessels and nerves adipose tissue hypodermis adipose tissue has a sparse matrix with a closely packaged adipocytes that is fat cells as well as fibroblast macrophages and other cells located under under the skin around internal organs and in the breast this tissue provides food storage insulation and organ protection reticular tissue lymph node reticular tissue has a matrix of reticular fibers and contains many cells mostly fibroblast it forms a soft skeleton to support the lymph nodes bone marrow and spleen now comes to connective tissue proper dense connective tissue proper can be classified as as we all know loose or dense depending on how its fibers are arranged in dense connective tissue also known as a fibrous connective tissue it is characterized by tightly arranged fibers this structure makes it flexible and resistant to tension there are two types of dense connective tissue dense regular and dense irregular dense regular tissue dense irregular tissue dense regular connective tissue tendon fibers dense regular tissue has a matrix with collagen and elastic fibers little ground substance and few cells most of which are fibroblast its closely packed bundles of collagen fibers run parallel which allows the tendons ligaments aponeurosis and fascia it forms to withstand significant unidirectional tension this tissue support the skeletal system tendons attach skeletal muscle to bone and ligaments attach bone to bone dense irregular connective tissue intestinal submucosa dense irregular connective tissue has a matrix with collagen and elastic fibers 
little ground substance and few cells most of which are fibroblast its thick bundles of collagen fibers runs in a multiple planes which allows the reticular dermis digestive tract submucosa and organs and joint capsules it form to withstand multidirectional tension now comes to special connective tissue bone and cartilage bone tissue and cartilage are connective tissues that help form the skeletal system bone and cartilage have a similar matrix but bone is harder and more rigid because it has more collagen fiber as well as calcium salts mature bone cells called osteocytes and mature cartilage cells called chondrocytes are located within space known as lacunia bone is vascular whereas cartilage is avascular receiving nutrients from blood vessels in the surrounding connective tissue bones cartilages bone tissue bone or osseous tissue is the hardest connective tissue with a rigid matrix of collagen fibers formed by osteoblasts osteoblasts and deposit calcium salts mature bone cells called osteocytes lie within space called lacunia this structure allows bone to support the body provide levers for mu muscle actions store calcium other minerals and fat and synthesize blood cells in the marrow bones are composed of an exterior layer of compact bone tissue that surrounds the internal spongy bone tissue compact bone tissue consists of structural unit called osteons which are arranged in a way that allows them to resist torque spongy bone tissue consists of a lattice like network of flat bone tissue pieces called trabeculae with spaces between them that are filled with red bone marrow cartilage cartilage has a rigid matrix formed by chondroblast with firmly bound collagen fibers and some elastic fibers that give it the strength and flexibility to withstand tension and compression cartilage matrix contains ample fluid which allows it to rebound after being compressed and aids in nutrition diffusion to its chondrocytes the form cartilage matrix keeps the chondrocytes close together clustered in group clustered in small groups within space called lacunia cartilage doesn't have any nerves or bone vessels cartilage doesn't have any nerves or blood vessels so it receives nutrients from blood vessels in the surrounding connective tissue membrane there are three types of cartilages hyaline cartilage elastic cartilage fibrocartilage hyaline cartilage has an amorphous and rigid extracellular matrix formed by chondroblast with firmly bound collagen fibers some elastic fibers tissue fluid and small group of chondrocytes in lacunia it forms most of the embryonic skeleton as well as the coastal cartilages that connect the ribs to the sternum the articular cartilage that covers the ends of long bones and absorbs compression at joints and the cartilages that support the nose trachea and larynx elastic cartilage this picture is from epiglottis elastic cartilage is similar in structure to hyaline cartilage elastic cartilage has more elastic fibers in its matrix it supports the external ear and epiglottis maintaining their shape and providing flexibility fibrocartilage inter intervertebral disc fibrocartilage has thick collagen fiber in its matrix which is less firm than the hyaline cartilage matrix it forms the intervertebral disc pubic symphysis and knee joint discs providing tensile strength and absorbing compressive shock special connective tissue blood and lymph blood and lymph are atypical connective tissues that circulate throughout the blood and lymphatic vessels of the blood 
of the body blood consist of red blood cells erythrocytes with scattered with scattered white blood cells leukocytes and platelets that are suspended in a fluid blood plasma matrix red blood cells transport respiratory respiratory gases white blood cells neutral neutrophils lymphocytes monocytes eosinophils and basophils protect the body from pathogens and platelets contain enzymes and proteins responsible for clotting lymph consist of white blood cells that are suspended in a fluid lymph matrix it is derived from interstitial fluid and it ret- and it returns proteins and excess interstitial fluid to the blood stream blood lymph blood blood is an atypical connective tissue that circulates throughout the blood vessels of the body it is composed of approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements which include red blood cells erythrocytes white blood cells leukocytes and platelets blood transports oxygen from lungs to body cells and brings waste carbon dioxide from cells to lungs it also transports nutrients and hormones regulate body temperature protect the body from pathogens and clots to prevent blood loss at sites of injury